Mark. And we got a couple questions on fitting notches to bends. Mm -hmm. So Mark's going to kind of show what happens to a tube during a bend and then how to fix that problem when you notch, I guess. Yeah. So this is essentially what happens to the tube when it goes through the bender. Um, it's less on a not as sharp bend, but yeah. on usually on like main hoops and stuff, which is usually where people are like, hey, notches aren't fitting. So when it goes through the bender, it just deforms it. It's just part of it. That's what all of this stuff does. Um, but essentially, when you got, you know, nice round come out of the notcher or off the dragon, it uh, it don't fit. You're not fitting to a circle. Yeah. You're fitting to... Oblong. A, a D. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much a D. So if you were on here like this, you can kind of see it's got a gap on the top, like all the way around. It's hitting on the edges, and then there's a gap on the bottom too. So I, need, I always do <clears throat> just take it out of the bottom of the notch on both sides. Kind of a little bit at a time. And even just that little bit made it fit way better. Yeah, it really depends on what angle you're coming at also. Yeah. Like, that would be a A pillar. So yeah. you'd have it coming on to basically coming straight at this point. Yeah. So you got you got to dig out that the bottom of the notch. To get it. Yep. You know, and if you were landing, you know, say you're coming on the, let's say this is the back of the car, and you're landing, you know, back half or something, and you're coming up here like this, <clears throat> or you know, down bar or whatever, then you're landing on a kind of round part of the tube, but it's essentially just get it in there where it needs to land and just take off wherever the tube is touching and only take off there and then recheck it. It's a lot of take it off, put it back on, but it's the way to get the best fit up and in turn the best weld Yep. and the strongest joint. Yeah, because if we were to take this measurement, this would be wider than inch and five eighths and then this would be narrower than inch and five eighths. So mm -hmm. you're essentially always going to have a little bit of an overhang here when you weld too because you're not this is not inch and five eighths anymore right. and no matter what bender you have it's gonna do that there's yeah, no there's no way around it but <clears throat> on stuff like this where it's you know you're going to the crushed part of the tube and you know like you said it's wider I'll usually try and flatten out the notch a little bit on the tips not all the way but just enough so you got a little meat there and then it gives you just a, a better joint. That way you're not just having a, a bunch of overhang out here. Yeah, you'll blow that stuff off real yeah, quick. That will, uh, that will go away very quickly as soon as you light up on it. Yep. So. Well, that's our uh, tech tip. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. So just a little uh, info for you. When you either get a cage kit or you're fitting a, a non-notched cage kit, mm -hmm. 